Um, uh, Veer, why don't you bring us up to date on the viewer pipeline? Sure. So uh, this week we have a viewer update, which is mate, mate C. Um, so that has gone out with a bunch of uh, bunch of bug fixes, um, and uh, we've been getting a bit of a dearth of RCs uh, recently. We do have a new RC for uh, custom key mappings, um, and I uh, I think that's a nice feature. It'd be uh, interesting to see what people think about it as it uh, gets into wider use. And we have a few other, so that one is just out of Project Viewer. We have a few other things that are currently still in Project Viewer that we're trying to get them out. Um, one of those is the um, uh, just a second. Pulling up the list. I don't have to remember them all. Uh, one of those is Legacy Profiles. Um, which you're trying to get unstuck. Um, there's there's one issue there that seems to be a back end thing, maybe related to uplift. So um, you know, the uplift people are very busy, so it's hard to it's hard to get time. But they have they have looked at it some, and uh, hopefully we can get a, a that at some point. Um, uh, if and when we do get a fix, then we can probably move that one to RC as well. Um, Let's see, other viewers, we've got updated Jelly Doll behavior um, is out as a project viewer. That's kind of simplified Jelly Dolls for mostly for performance reasons. There's still a couple of kind of corner case rendering issues with that that I'm trying to uh, straighten out in my copious free time. Um, and at some point uh, after that, we should be getting that to an RC. Uh, we also have the, the updated cache this is a replacement for the vfs cache um, and that is out in a project viewer now just went out within the last few days um, and once we have a bit more test time against it then uh, you know see how we do on issues if that's coming through clean on bugs then that'll be another uh, candidate for C. Uh, and i think that's it for the things that are you know, reasonably far along in the pipeline right now. Um, there will be a new um, there'll be a new mate RT coming. And the graphics team has a few issues that have been pending for a while. They were they were you know not requirements for EAT, but they were things that got worked on along the way. So we're going to try to get those bundled into a viewer in the not too distant future too. That'll probably be called Love Me Render Five. Um, Get that. I think that's it for viewers. What's broken about the moon? Oh, the the haze interactions thing. Is that what you're talking about, Beck? Is this the moon mist thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's on the list for. It flips its texture at midnight? What? That I didn't know anything about. I've heard about the flipping the texture part. What do you mean by flip? It's like goes upside down or something? Oh, boy. That's a fun one. Euclid, did you know about that one? Uh, nope. That's the first I heard of it. Oh, okay. Is there a jira for that, Kitty? Okay, well we should we should track down that Jira and and uh get it get it on the list. That's a pretty funny one.
Okay. Well. I think that may be more of an issue for custom moons than it is for the image of Earth's moon that we use for the default. Oh, okay, I don't remember any previous discussions on this one, but uh, if there's a JIRA, then it'll get discussed at the next uh, next graphics triage meeting. There's certainly a lot of quirks with the moon, but that one, that particular one is new. Oh, well, that's an interesting one. Yeah, it would be easy to miss if you didn't happen to be looking at the right time. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, well, that's, that's a fascinating, fascinating problem. Um, okay, questions, comments, concerns about any of the viewer pipeline discussion? Um, what's what's the status of getting a firestorm with EAP support out of the beta channel and into the regular releases? So as of um, Wednesday, um, I have a problem. Our Firestorm group chats are not allowing me to communicate at all. And um, since then, I've discovered my group mod cannot communicate in those groups, and Wally cannot communicate in those groups. And this is going to hamper, you know, our ability to communicate with team members and um, testers. I can't so, communicate in any group at all. All right. Well, let's let's back up a little bit. Could you put together a note with the specific groups? You, if you have the UUIDs, that would save us a few seconds. But if and send those to me and CC Mastocs, please. Um, well, I can update my bug report. Uh, or that, yeah. Put it, put it in in there. And so it's it's that two three nine six fifty five. Yes. Yeah. Um, the only group, the only, F, the only Firestorm group that's missing from that is the preview group. Um, English support, QA, uh, the team group is already on there. Um, yeah, I know the general issue has been complained about a lot. I'm I'm asking about the specific issue of these specific groups, so, yeah. so that we we can we can take a close look at those groups and see whether or not we can un unstick them. Well, and since yesterday and today, I discovered that um, the other moderator who works with me in QA and Rolly um, are locked out as well. So we have no ability at all to communicate. Okay. So um, I'm happy to offer up my account if somebody wants to um, log in and, um, and use it. It's account specific, okay. Yeah, I have two alts also who can access those groups. Um, I can get screenshots easily from those okay. well, alts. Uh, okay, we're we're very much aware of the of the of the fact that our last set of changes didn't completely fix group chat, um, and we're we're paying attention to it. Um, we do have some tools 
that we didn't have before the last update, so that's why I'm asking about the specific groups you, you're, and accounts, combinations of groups and accounts that you're having trouble with, um, because we may be able to diagnose that if we take some look at the at the back end. Um, okay, well, I just want to mention again, this started on Wednesday after the rules, and I've been fine up, you know, after the last deploy of fixes. And we also saw a huge surge of questions about this in Firestorm English group. I mean, I've got a paste bin of several complaints about it. I know that there were three bug reports filed just after mine about the very same thing. Um, so, and this was what, 10 days after the last um, last uh, um, batch of uh, fixes were deployed. Well, I absolutely believe that that's, uh, that that's the timing that occurred. Um, but I can assure you, as one of the people who QA'd that server release, we did not touch group chat in that simulator release. Yeah, it's possible that some of the underlying network I.O. issues uh, that, that we're still looking at um, have had an effect uh, and we've got we've got uh, our best people looking at that because it's it's possible that the so you're also aware that some people have been encountering more frequent teleport failures we're very much aware of that um, it's not a huge increase but it's an annoying increase um, in, on a on a grid wide scale anyway it's not huge uh, but it has it has continued to get a little bit worse as we add more, um, as we move more hosts to uplifted status, um, and right, and it's not it, it's not nearly uniform in who it affects, and we haven't quite figured out what, if any, pattern there is there. Um, so. Uh, yeah, restarting the group chat servers and, and updating them did seem to solve some of the problems, but definitely not all of them. So, yeah, we're, it's so right at the moment, the highest priority is to has been to look at the teleport problems. Um, and uh, but we can definitely do some investigation on these specific groups to see if there's some new failure mode that we weren't. Um, and uh, I have a pretty strong suspicion that there's a common failure mode under both of these. And uh, if uh, if the people we've got looking at it don't find it, then we'll, at the, we'll, we'll dig deeper. My suspicion is that is that there's something related to both that uh, both the teleport problem and the group chat problem. Um, well, I don't know anything about what's changed with Fivox and Firestore. Um, but uh, Fivox, Fivox told me the other day that they're planning to release a new voice SDK soon, but I'm not sure how quickly we'll get to. I, I, I don't have a date for that yet, and uh, I'm not sure how quickly we'll get that integrated. I I don't think it's likely that we will we will be delayed as much as next year um, for addressing this. I mean, it's a pretty high priority. It's just that right now there are a lot of very high priority things, um, but we're 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 pushing hard to get everything out of the colo as quickly as possible, and. Uh, that does that does restrict how much time available is available for finding fixes. So, um, so add that 
add that data to that JIRA. We'll see if we can unstick the Firestorm groups. It's possible that we can, but those are big ones, so um, they seem to exhibit the problem more often. Uh, group size seems to be an important factor, um, and we'll we'll do the best we can. Uh, but you should not. I, I would I would appreciate it if you didn't say you're not going to update Firestorm until that's fixed because I can't promise you when it's going to be fixed. Um, so that, that would be just kind of an open-ended problem. Yeah, as far as we can tell, by the way, the problem is only on sending messages from the group to the user involved, or at least that's the biggest part of the problem. So, in fact, you can, when you type, or when you send something to the group, it gets forwarded to people who are still receiving from the group. It's just that some people don't, and even if you're one of those, then you don't even see your others. Right. It's It's the... It's the communication from the group chat servers through the simulator to the end user that's that's the difficulty. Right. Right. So yeah, it's it's not it's not that you can't send to the group, it's that you can't receive from the group. Um, that seems to be the side where the bug is. Uh, so we're we're acutely aware of it and it's at this point, number two, approximately, on the user visible bug list. Um, there are some bugs that are not user visible that are slightly higher. Um, but, uh, um, and we've been focusing on teleports now. If you think that that's not the right focus, um, I'm happy to, happy to hear that you think chat is more important. Uh, but, um, Um, I'd like to cross fingers and hope that the solution addresses both. Well, that would be nice if it works out that way. It's not impossible. Right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but at this point, we don't have a definitive diagnosis of what either problem is, so it's not possible for me to say that there's that it's likely or unlikely. It's just possible. They did start appearing at about the same time. So that's, that's and they share that's, certain similar characteristics. They do have some characteristics in common, absolutely. Um, we're hoping that the legacy profile queries will get better when the some of the backend components have been uplifted. Um, and if not, we'll try to debug that. But I assume everybody agrees that that's less important than either teleports or chats. Group yeah. chats. For a while there, we were sailing so smooth that uh, this was bound to happen. <laughs> well, I would speculate about what sorts of problems we might have had at this stage of the process, um, but haven't, except I'm way too superstitious to do that. So I won't. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> I I uh, have discovered all sorts of superstitions in the last few months. Uh, the the good news is that our ability to inspect and diagnose what's going on in our servers is dramatically better in the new framework. So anything that's uplifted, we can we can see better.
we can we can see about there we did add an API that lets us reset individual groups and, and we could try that and see if it improves your your if it fixes your individual situations that might be a worthwhile thing to do yeah let's um th that might be a, a temporary solution and if it does indeed then maybe we'll figure out a way to contact support to get this done yeah if so we'll update the the grid status <laughs> hmm that's an interesting point back if we fix if we fix chat before we fix teleports we'll get more complaints about teleports All right. Um, other other issues? Discussion? Uh, early, I would say soon, but not as soon as all of the things we just discussed. I have mentioned it uh, to the appropriate devs a couple times over the last several days. Um, it is actually m mostly a viewer side issue. But um, the simulator doesn't do quite the right thing in the cloud for reasons that are murky and vague. Um, so we'll, we'll see which end the fix ends up being on. Um, I have a question about an issue that's been going on since back in the summer with premium. Um, 
when I try to teleport to a full sim, I can't get in. Um, like if it's only got 20 people, and I used to be able to get in up to 25. Um, but if there's a neighboring sim, I can go to that sim and walk across the sim line 21st map. But I can't directly teleport into a full region anymore. And this has been going on since back in the summer. And it seems like I'm the only one that's having the problem. Uh, is, is, there a, is there a JIRA for the problem? I don't know because I I don't I don't really know much about juras. Okay, well it is definitely a known issue. Um, I can try and find the jira. Uh, it's not just you. Oh, we okay. reproduced it internally. Yeah, because the only way to get in the full regions is to either walk across the sim line if you're lucky enough that there be a sim next to it, or if you can grab the s the s URL and log off and and log directly into the sim, you can get in. But right. you can't teleport into it. That's the only issue. But I would follow the Jira if I knew of it. I favored it. Yeah, Maz sucks. Can you see if you can find the, the bug for that? Yeah, and this issue was happening before Uplift even started. Right. As far as, like, reach. I don't think the, way, has... the way that's supposed to work, if I'm, if I'm, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ryder, because you implemented it, it reserves the top something percent. Is it five or ten percent of the region, of the of the region capacity, for premium users? Uh, that sounds right. Yes. So it's it's not that you get extra users if the region is really full. That is, it has the maximum number of avatars that are allowed to be there, then you can't get in. If it's, you know, one short of full, premium users should be able to get in, and non-premium users should not. Yeah. So, and that's, that's how the way it's supposed part. to work. Um, yeah, okay. So that's the bug to follow, um, and we'll, um, at, the, at the moment, these other issues we've been discussing and assorted uplift related things are going to take priority over anything like that. Um, but we won't forget about it. Uh, I mean, we haven't forgotten about it. It's on our internal list. Okay. The first Jira works, but the second Jira says you can't view this issue. Right. That's that the was internal one. That's okay. the, yeah, that, that, that was so I know what I was looking at. Oh. <laughs> They're, they're I these, connected I internally. If we if we close one, the other will appear. If we close the internal issue, the other one will appear in the release notes as the the external issue. Um, uh, two factor auth is something we're we're looking very closely at doing as soon as we can, uh, but it won't be before the end of this year for sure. After uplift. Um, that's a thank. Thank you for the for the extra validation. I've been pushing for that one a lot myself. So it's good because you've been getting argument from whom? Yeah, no, I actually <laughs> haven't I haven't gotten much pushback lately. Uh, everybody's agreeing with me. It's just that I'm telling them I don't have anybody to implement it with. Yeah, I talked in the mirror. Yeah. Uh, you had to go and use that word. In 2025, early. <laughs> uh, no dates. Man. I know you no will. <laughs> as soon as it left my mouth, I was like, oh, crap, she's going to come get me. <laughs> January 1st, 2025. 
<laughs> no, see, you were supposed to say 2040 because we'll never get there because of the Unix epoch issue. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a better date, Veer. I like that one better. None of us will have to worry about it. Well, maybe you won't. I plan to be around then. Well, then you're going to be stuck implementing mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mazadex volunteered for mirrors. So I'm putting that down. Um, Kitty, if somebody has changed the TPV policy text, they didn't tell me about it. It's been quite a while since we did anything with that. Which is not to say it didn't happen, just that they didn't tell I me. I mean, what do you mean by last few years? Yeah, few years is pretty vague. I think the last change was no i'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess it was a quite a while ago yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Beck, I was going to slip that in, but I found it out. I guess we'll have to remove it now. Privacy things. It's possible, um, but I won't. sign that statement um, or even be sure about it that there was something done to clarify what is and isn't allowed in terms of uh, RLV account limitations but I don't even remember making those changes I think they existed all along Now, there haven't been any any deliberate changes in at least a few years. Uh, where uh, by a few, I mean three or four. <laughs> any other topics? Questions? Concerns? All right, well, we're going to go back to uplifting things. Including uh, this region. It's going to restart in a few moments. So, heads up. Nice touch. <laughs> yeah, I have, uh, I have some data analytics changes that I need to get Agni data on. And this is a good candidate region. So, uh, here's your 10-minute warning before the 5-minute warning gong starts. You don't have to go home? No, Wait, but you can't stay, stay here. here.
Thanks. Unless you're home to set you here. Uh, Hippo Hollow is in a different channel, so we probably won't do that one. Thank you. See you, folks. Thanks.